In today's video, we are going to make a Slayer Exciter aka Tesla Coil. When I started a new year, I decided to begin with my favorite invention by Nikola Tesla, which is a Tesla Coil. So let's build it again and again. But this one is not the Tesla Coil which Tesla built. It's more like an extent of all Tesla coil. Therefore, the name Slayer Exciter. All Tesla coil oxide current using spark gaps, while Slayer Exciter does it using a transistor or IC. Therefore, these varieties can work at very high frequencies. I have been making a lot of Tesla coil from many YouTube channels. So I decided to create a new playlist called Which is the best in comparison? So you can decide which circuit should you use for better quality. But which is the best Tesla coil uh, will be a series of videos because of the number of varieties of Tesla coil. So I'll be announcing result every year at New Year Eve or Christmas Day. So if you guys have any suggestions about any Tesla coil circuit, please comment it below with a YouTube link or Google Drive link. So I can build them and give you the results. In today's video, we'll be making desktop Tesla coil from Keystone Science channel. The main attraction of this Tesla coil is the circuit. It's one of the most simple and powerful one I ever seen. The circuit only consists of one resistor, one potentiometer, one capacitor and a transistor. And of course two coils. Come on, these coils are common in every Tesla coil. That's the reason why I didn't say it. The working of the circuit is very simple as it's circuit. When we switch on the circuit, the current will flow through the transistor then through the primary coil. This current flow will induce a current in secondary coil. That current will reach the transistor and close the gate and block the current flow to the primary. As this current through the primary cuts off, the secondary coil current will also turn off, which will open the gate in the transistor and the current will flow through the primary and induce current in sec secondary. And this cycle continues. This whole process happens a lot of time in a second. Therefore, the current which comes out of the open end of the secondary will be high frequency so it will create a lot of cool phenomena like lightning patterns and corona discharge. Sweet Jesus, that took so long. I have to make a video about it working separately, otherwise I have to do this every time I build a Tesla coil. Man. Okay, back to the circuit. The reason why we use a potentiometer here is to tune in tune the frequency of the circuit as same as the resonant frequency of the secondary coil and we are using IRP260 MOSFET why did we call it MOSFET it's because MOSFET are a special kind of transistor but compared to the other tiny transistor this guy is a beast now let's build it and by let's I mean me
there are some things to be taken care of while making. The turn ratio is 1 is to 400. So for one turn of primary there should be 400 turns or somewhere close to 400 otherwise it will affect your final result. And the thickness of the secondary is 32 gauge. This value can be varied, thinner copper wire will give good results. While placing the MOSFET to the circuit, attach a heat sink that will increase the lifespan of the MOSFET. If you see any problem with the Tesla coil, simply flip the primary coil and connect it to the MOSFET or tune the potentiometer and, uh, and if it still doesn't work, your MOSFET should have probably died, so replace it. And the, one of the most important thing is only run the circuit up to 24 volt. Even in 24 volt, don't run it so long, otherwise the MOSFET will die. But in other case, you can run it forever in 12 volt. When you're going to switch on the circuit, turn the potentiometer to the left completely, and also add an insulator ring between the primary and secondary at the bottom to prevent sparking between the two coils. As you can see in the video, I painted it with black and stick a Nikola Tesla pick to increase its beauty. Also put a plastic tube which is in my case is a tennis ball container over the coil. This has nothing to do with the power of the coil but it will help the Tesla coil from breaking while it fall down and I also added a top lot at the top which is in my case as just, just an aluminum wrapping. You can use any conductor without any sharp edges. But I am a fan of a corona distal so I placed a nail at, as a breakdown point on the top as an additional feature which can be attached by hook and well sticker. With all that your Tesla coil is done. Now it's time for conclusion. How is the Tesla coil in comparison? In comparison to the Tesla coil which I have made in past, this guy is a bummer because for the first time I see a corona discharge at the end and it can withstand up to 24 volt which compared to my old Tesla coil of 2 and 9 volt it's cool or is it? The circuit can only work on 24 volt for a few seconds in continuous. You might have noticed that in the final video there are no corona discharge. It's because during some tests the MOSFET died and the next time I couldn't get IRFP 260. Instead, I use IRFP 250, which is a sucker in comparison to my first MOSFET, so I can oscillate in high frequency. So, if you are going to supply 24 volt, please use more than one MOSFET in parallel. That's the only way. So, hope you all liked the video. If you did, you know what to do. Bye.